I describe it almost as a um, as a as a physical uh, representation of a universe, and uh, with with the star in the middle and and, a, and the galaxy swirling out beyond it. Um, and I, th I think the thing that thrills me is that it functions on so many different levels. It functions on a science level. It functions on the, the fact that it's. Um, that it's a sculpture that brings the outside and the sky and the trees in on this, this, this dish-shaped interior that's going to be developed. About a year and a half ago, Joseph Mella, who's at the Vanderbilt Fine Arts Gallery, came to us with the idea that uh, a friend of his, Chris Drury, who's an internationally known sculptor, might be convinced to do a sculpture here. And we went through discussions and worked out the way to find the money to do it, and here it is. We're going to uh, watch the sun rise up over here to the east during the solstices and equinoxes and mark those, and then to the west over here, we'll watch the sunsets. And over the period of those two years, we'll take uh, alignment points and refine them. So that if someone comes here 10,000 years from now, they'll find this stock of the stone in this top of this hill that's covered with moss, and it'll line up with the, the solstices, and they'll think, somebody thought about that. Good, hold it, hold it, right there. All right, guys. We have a lot of art students out here today. They're photo students, so in essence we are building a camera obscura, so we're building almost like a big uh, pinhole camera. The, the skies and the trees and the clouds will be projected into the bowl in, inside, not, not um, with any electronics, but simply through a lens or it works through just an aperture, which is a bit bigger than a dime. And so they're, they're kind of seeing what the possibilities are with art and, and, and kind of, I think, getting them out of their box and getting them out of the uh, classroom and um, I think um, having some interface with an uh, internationally acclaimed artist is, uh, is a great experience even though it's moving stone. But I did tell them that we were going to be coming out here to do this and I did warn them that it would be manual labor. They cringed. <laughs> All the stone is being uh, harvested from uh, the Freshman Commons site. And delivered at no cost to us. I think it's pretty, it's going to be a uh, really nice project when it's finished. Um, it'll give us the perspective that we're talking about in class with our photography. Uh, I think it's really interesting. I've, I've never really seen anything like it before or heard of anything like it before. I think the pinhole camera technology is going to be probably the coolest part for me. Judging from what we've done in an hour and a half, uh, we might even get it done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the mountaintop is the place where the heavens and earth come together. This area is such a beautiful place with Radnor Lake and the Vanderbilt property here. And by doing this, we've kind of connected that environmental, the beauty of the earth with the beauty of the heavens.